What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dan Do Commentary. For some reason, people requested me using Bujins more often. Tina Fey versus me, 15-21 for her, 16-38 for me. And, um, yeah, everybody knows my feelings on Geargia. Fucking hate that duck because all it does is just set five. And set five is not fun unless I'm the one doing it. So I open with the Kree Yamato and just way too many other blue jeans in my hand. And I don't want them. So I have to think on what exactly I'm going to do here. So it's interesting. I looked at the Curse of Dragon and I was like, I wonder if that's the real Tina Fey. Like real talk, like 10 years ago, I was in love with Tina Fey. She was like the, the hottest nerdy chick in all of Hollywood. And then she was funny too. I was like, man, like you're like the perfect woman. And then I found out she got married to like some just completely average looking guy. I was like, damn, he ain't even good looking. Like, do you not know that you're like rich? Like, sweetie, you need to upgrade. Seriously. I'm not saying divorce him and find somebody better, but like shit, divorce him and find somebody better. Anyways, back to the duel. He sets three sets of monsters, so of course I'm going to decree him during the end phase because uh, I don't play that shit. And then I summon Mikizuki. I look into my extra deck for no apparent reason. There was 0% chance I was going to XC here. Um, it just exceeding wouldn't have made any sense against a, when I have no idea what I'm playing against. And the fact that he MST'd, it's like I still don't know what I'm playing against. So um, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to do anything. I, I, maybe he thought that I was going to exit on item. I'm not going to set my lance. All I'm going to do is just pass. I've already got uh, hair into the graveyard. And now I'm going to dump turtle and I'm going to get a free carnation. Now some of you might ask, why didn't I set the lance? I don't set the lance because if he fiendish chains me, then I'm just fucked. I don't get my Yamato effect. I don't get my carnation. I don't get anything. This way, if he does the fiendish chain during the end phase, I can just lance it and I can just keep it moving. Then during my next turn, I can exceed and uh, I'll be in a much better position than if I would have set the lance. I mean, I got I got crane in hand anyway, plus a uh, a freaking hair. So it's like, what are you gonna do? All right, so he flips over um, Geargia armor. Obviously, I know I'm playing Geargia now, and I'm kind of wondering what he's gonna do. Um, I now know that his face down isn't fiendish chain. So during my turn, I feel good about setting my lance. He just sets his um resets his armor, and the thing is, I'm like, um, you can't beat you can't beat Bujins like that. You can't beat Bujins by just flipping armor and getting a whole bunch of um, accelerators. Not if they have an established field press protection. So during my end phase, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to get another Carnation, and I'm going to dump Quailin. I'm just trying to stack up my resources. Now, during his end phase, he act during my end phase, he activates um, Geargia Gear. Now, a lot of you, he gets Mortal Kombat 2 and Giorgiano, so he already has one Gear Giant X. He flips over armor, and some of you are probably going to think, why didn't I affect Valor that? The reason I didn't affect Valorant is because it, it doesn't really change what he's going to do. Right now, he's going to make one Gear Giant X, and he's probably going to try and run my guys over. Now, if I Valorant, all he would have to do is make that same Gear Giant X, get an Accelerator, then uh, summon the Accelerator, and then tune into or XC into another Gear Giant X, and then get a third Accelerator. So it doesn't it doesn't change his play at all. Like, right now, um, me not Valorant it, if he summons anything that isn't Gear Giant X... Obviously, I can respond with the Valor and I can put him in a tight spot. But right now, he cannot crack my board just using Gear Giant X's because one of them will die to Crane, one of them will not get his attack through, and then one of them will die to Lance. So he can't crack my board using Gear Giant X's. Not to mention, um, during my turn, I could kill one with Quailin, and then if all hell just breaks loose, I've got double Carnation to back me up. This is the way that 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 Bujins have to play against Geargia. You have to have like three fail saves, otherwise you're gonna lose. Because Gear Giant X is a problem for Bujins unless you use Sasano O. Sasano O can clear an entire fucking board at once. But if I don't have that, it's a problem. So you see here, I'm going to activate my hair. And the reason I did that is because, um, you know, I take 500. But the, the thing is, I can easily just, you know, dump hair during my opponent's uh, turn again. All right. Now, since I already have Bujin Carnation, I'm going into an XC play. I feel confident that um, if this doesn't go off, if it gets blackhorned, I'll just, what's it called? I'll just go into, um, I'll just use my Bujin Carnation. Now, the fact that it did go off is good because now I got that card off the board and without triggering it, and I had a mo I have a monster on board that can kill uh, uh, Geargia Armor at the same time. Now, I still have my Lance, but I had too many cards in hand, so I summoned Yamato, and I'm like, all right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to summon Yamato. If, it, if he would have used Torrential, I would have Lanced it, or, yeah, I would have lanced it, and then uh, uh, Silent Honor Arc would have still lived anyway. So you can see I'm going to get another Mikizuki, and I'm going to dump um, that hair into my graveyard. And I feel confident. It's like 
outside of making another Gear Giant X, what can he do here? I mean, I'm looking at his cards, and I'm like, wait a minute. You look like you have way too many cards. And I accidentally accuse him of cheating. <laughs> I'm like, one sec, buddy. How the fuck do you have eight cards in your hand? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And then I forgot, like, oh, yeah, I attacked his uh, I attacked his armor. So you can, you see, I'm typing. I'm like, how the fuck do you have eight in hand? If you had seven in hand last turn, you should have to discard. You should only have seven in hand max. And he's like, you dits. I, what's it called? He's like, oh, yeah, wow, I must be cheating. Or play Gear Gear Armor, pick one. I'm like, oops. <laughs> oh, boy, you just, what's it called? Can't, can't just uh, randomly accuse people of cheating in Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. That's, that is not good Yu-Gi-Oh etiquette. So, um, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm in a position to where my Yamato should be near unkillable. You know, he can't target it. He can't kill it in battle. Uh, at least three layers of battle protection there because I've got a hair plus two cranes. Um, he can't target it. And then any monster he leaves on board recklessly, I can just quail in it. So it's going to be a pain in the ass for him to get over it. The way that you beat um, Gear Gia with Blue Jeans is you have to make them, you have to put them in a position where Gear, G, uh, Gear Giant X will not beat you. Or you have to put them in a, yeah, you have to put them into a position to where uh, they have to make shit other than Gear Giant X. Right now, if he summoned Gear Giant X, what the fuck would it do? It would attack and it'd die to a lance. Or it would attack and I'd crane it. Or, you know, like it wouldn't do anything. If he tried to activate its effect, I'd let him activate its effect. I'd be like, I don't care. If he attacks Silent Honor Earth, he can't kill it. If he attacks Yamato, he can't kill it. So Gear Giant X does not help him win. If he goes into, um, what do you call that guy? If he goes into Exiton Knight, I'm going to Baylor that shit. Now, he summons something, again, that is not Gear Giant X, so I'm immediately going to Valor it. That's what I want. I want him to try and summon shit that is not Gear Giant X, because that, that means that I'm essentially winning. Now, when I got Soul Charge here, I was like, okay, that's great. <laughs> I'm at 7,100 or 7,500. 7, I'm like, I'm going to end up getting like five monsters back. So, again, with Double Carnation plus Soul Charge, I'm, I can play as recklessly as I fucking want here, guys. I can just, you know, summon random shit and all types of stuff. So... You see, I'm going to attack with everybody. Um, that cuts him down to, what, 3,200. And then during my end phase, I think I'm going to dump a turtle into the graveyard. Uh, the reason I didn't exceed, because I didn't see a whole lot of value in making Kagasuchi here. So I was just like, keeping Yamato and Miko on board makes a little more sense right now. You know what I mean? Gear Giant X can't beat my board, so uh, he has to make a desperation play. Now he summons um, Mortal Kombat 2 again. And I'm like, okay, um, like, make Acid Golem? That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe he's going to make Acid Golem? That's dumb. He makes Zen Mains. And I'm like, you fucking staller. Stop stalling. And I drew another Soul Charge. So now I can be even super, super reckless. Like, like Frankie says on One Piece, super. <laughs> I can just be as reckless as I want. So he plays Bottomless. I lance it. Then I try and activate its effect. And it's like, oh, wait, you're, my, my Black Corn is only 1,300. And his Zen Mains is like... 1500 so clearly i cannot do math so anyways um yeah i can't use wind up uh, wind up i can't use black corn's effect because he doesn't have a monster on attack he doesn't have a monster on board that has less than a uh, 1300 attack so clearly that was a fail there i thought about using soul charge and then i was like if i soul charge like what am i doing i mean i could soul charge and make i was thinking i was like all right i can soul charge and i can make tiger king and then I could pop his guy with, like, Quaylen. You know what I mean? I could get Yamato and Mika, and I could make Quaylen. I mean, I could make a Tiger King. I could get a Tinky, which would get me, I think, my third Yamato. And then I could pop his guy. And it just, it didn't, it didn't make a ton of sense. You know what I mean? The play. I was like, what am I really doing here? All right, so I'm, I play Soul Charge, and I'm going to get Mika, Yamato, and probably Turtle, because I got two Turtles in the graveyard. And uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what he's gonna do. He plays Max C, which does make me change my play. Obviously, I'm putting Turtle in defense, and I'm putting the big guns in attack mode. He draws one card, but the thing about Bujins is I don't have to exceed. I still got these cranes in hand, son, so <laughs> I'm good. You know, obviously, again, what I would have did was I would have made Tiger King, um, and then I would have actually no, that wouldn't have worked because if I made Tiger King, then I don't have a Bujin on board to even use. Uh, to fucking use Quaylen. So that, that shit really doesn't work. I guess I could have attacked over Zen Mains. Yeah, I could have attacked over it during my next turn, though. So that would have been okay. But anyways, back to the duel. He has a ton of cards in his hand. I've got, like, a full board of monsters. And uh, a bunch of cards in my hand. Um, if he has MST, I know he has to fucking just be salty as hell. Because 
you don't get a lot of and unless I have rolled the Kree up, you don't get a lot of value out of MST against my deck. You know, I mean, yeah, you can hit my um, you can hit my Tinkies the second that I activate them, but like, look at this duel. I mean, how much could you have really MST during this duel? How much could you have wiretap? Like, I don't play traps like that. You know what I mean? And I definitely don't play traps that need to stay face up other than decree. So there's not a lot of shit to really MST against my deck. I try to keep all my resources either on field or in hand. Um, not so, or my monster zones anyway. Not so much in my back row. So he's sitting on his Zimbanes. Um, at the very least, he does have to kill my black ship of corn. Otherwise, that Zimbanes is going to die. So we're going to see what he's going to do. He summons Arsenal, then he goes into, he summons Excel, and I'm wondering what he's going to do here. Um, and I think he summons uh, Exiton Knight, which I was like, okay, I'm not even, I think I've got a, a Heron Graveyard, I'm not even going to use it. I think I made a mistake here. I should have just let my 101 die so that um, his Zen mains would have either had to pop itself or pop one of his back row cards. And uh, yeah, he ends up popping it with... Um, with uh what do you call it zen mains all right so now i can actually start using these good cards that i've been holding all game i go into Booch incarnation he uses max c and i'm like all right well <clears throat> i'm gonna summon rabbits and i think i'm gonna go mika either mika or yamato um yeah it looks like i'm going yamato uh there, there there isn't really that much of a difference there because all of my monsters uh all of my monsters that i want to engrave are already engraved so uh, first, I'm telling him to detach a material from the Zen mains for uh, his last turn, and he's asking, "What am I attacking?" I'm like, "Hold up, you gotta detach first because you, uh, you know, you blew up the field." And I attacked um, his Wilson. I attacked his Exiton Knight. I was kind of hoping he'd blow up the field for some reason, <laughs> and I could just use my uh, hair in my graveyard. And um, when he tried to target my uh, my guy with Zen mains, I could just use Turtle, but that would have been obviously not good for uh, for his sake. So you see, he keeps setting back row, but I'm in a pretty good position. He still, I, I still don't see him killing this fucking Mikazuki. And I still have another soul charge. So I'm going to play um, Pot of Duality. I see my third crane, which I do not want, because I if I make Susano, I want to be able to search it. Um, Bandit's Emptiness, which is no good, and MST. Now here's the thing. In game one, I, find, I have no problem with blind MSTing this deck. Because every trap he showed me so far has been pretty powerful. So I end up blind MSTing a black horn, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'll am i take that. <laughs> and then I look at my graveyard, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to activate Tinky. And I was hoping he'd MST it. I was like, please MST it. Please MST it. He doesn't MST it. So anyways, I go into battle phase. Uh, the, the only reason I really played that or that I went into battle phase is because my Mika is now 2K. So I knew I could kill a Gigia armor. So if it was Gearjia armor, then I knew I could run it over without, you know, it living. Um, he could get, you know, obviously, uh, he could get Mortal Kombat 2 or any of that shit, but I really wouldn't care. <clears throat> so main phase 2, I turn my uh, my hair to defense mode. Now here's the thing, him getting Mortal Kombat 2, I knew that he could go into, what is that, white, um, white, uh, it, like, you guys know, uh, Soul of the Silver Mountain? Yeah, that guy. I know that he could go into Soul of the Silver Mountain and uh, he could run over Rabbit, but I, I figured what's the difference in Rabbit dying in defense mode or attack mode? I'd rather just, you know, keep the 100 life points. So, he's not getting over this Mikazuki. That shit's not going to happen, no. So, um, I'm not super concerned about Zen mains. I do have some ways to get that card off board. I can attack it and use, like, Crane. Then I can um use Quailin on it, but... um. That is a little bit of resources, or I could go into Sasano O, I could attack it, then I could use Quillen. That makes a little more sense because my Sasano O can get me my third crane, so it's not like I'm not going super neg, you know what I mean? <clears throat> now he got Mortal Kombat 2, and I'm like, what's he gonna? I mean, outside of uh, Silver Mountain, like, what, what, what can he do with that guy? He can't really do anything. Now he summons um, Arsenal, and I'm like, okay, well, if he gets, if he flips it over. Or if he tributes it to get armor, I'm just going to attack it. You know what I mean? And I started thinking, I'm like, how many good, like, what is he, how much stuff does he really have left in his deck for armor? <clears throat> now, my only concern right now is really just getting OTK'd. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to keep board presence to where he can't OTK me because, you know, playing these soul charges does deplete my life points uh, rather fast. So, um, 
you know, I've got so much protection in my graveyard, and then me just drawing Effect Veiler. Now, the thing about the Effect Veiler that I drew, I don't even think, if he flipped armor, like, somehow, if he, you know, Fiendish chained my Mika and I couldn't turtle or something like that, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even use the Veiler on it. Like, I'm only going to use Veiler on something big, you know? If you use, because if he, if he uses armor, I mean, okay, what's he going to get at this point? He gets another Accelerator, like, that doesn't do anything for him. It doesn't help him get over my board. So I'm just going to summon Yamato and uh, in turn. Actually, why didn't I just attack? I have no idea why I didn't attack. Anyways, I go to end phase, and it looks like he flips over Needle Ceiling. And I was like, holy shit. Like, he plays that in the main deck. And it kind of makes sense in um, Gear Gear right now because, you know, your most important monster in armor is always face down. But, you know, Soul Charge summons so many monsters. And we're just in a, a format where people just summon, 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 summon. And they just do a lot of summoning. So, anyways, you see that I use Hair to protect my Mika. And then when his Zen Mange triggers, um, I'm going to use Turtle on that to keep my guy protected. I would say that right now, um, my biggest concern is him trying to uh, trying to OTK me. I still have, like, what, uh, Turtle, uh, Hair, Crane, and Baylor. I still have four layers of protection, so I still don't see how he's going to get over my monster. I drew an MST, and I'm kind of like, I'm going to blind MST. Like, I, I'm seeing that all his traps are powerful. Black Horn, Needle Ceiling, you know, like, these are powerful, powerful traps. I end up blind MSTing into a solemn warning, and I'm like, okay, that's good. I go into Susano O. Um, if he uses anything to stop Susano O, obviously not warning. If he black horns it, obviously I'm gonna soul charge all my shit back. Actually, no, I wouldn't soul charge. I'd uh, I'd boot incarnation because if I boot incarnation, I can still go into uh, my second Susano O, and I can clear his board. I can get rid of Zen mains, and I can get rid of uh, armor. If I uh, soul charge, I can get three monsters. I wouldn't get four because uh, he, he could cowboy me. Actually, with Valor, I guess I could get four. I could just Valor the cowboy, but he could, like, book it or something like that and end up winning. Anyways, um, I feel like Bujin Carnation is a better play. So he uses, he uses Blackhorn, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I'm just going <laughs> to use Bujin Carnation. So it's like, all right, I got so many Monster Reborns, it's stupid, right? So I'm going into another Susano O, and if he Blackhorns this, obviously I'll Soul Charge, so... I don't see a way that he can stop all of these Monster Reborns that I have. Alright, so I get my last card, my last Bujin Monster, and now Sasonoo just puts in work. I get rid of Zen Mains, I get rid of Armor, um, I ask him if he's using his effect, and when he says he's not using his effect, I'm like, yes! <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't fucking have any targets left. I was like, I've won. <laughs> I've officially won the grind game. Remember, I still have four layers of protection for Sasonoo. I can't search anything for Sasonoo, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> he can't kill this motherfucker. Sasonoo is 2,500 attack, and it can go to 4,000, or it can go to 4,800, plus I can't, he can't target it, he can't destroy it in battle, and really he can't use anything important because I will affect Veil the fuck out of anything he summons that looks important. So, uh, we're going to see how he's going to try and kill this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering how he's going to get this thing off the board. And, um, you know, worst case scenario, I still do have Soul Charge, and I will use that card uh, to get my monsters back. It sucks that I can't really search anything, but I kind of want him to summon something in attack mode so that I can Baylor it and then I can attack over it and use Crane. That'd be beautiful. He's looking at my graveyard, and I know he has to see all those Bujin cards, and he's like, fuck, how am I going to get rid of this? Not to mention, I think I've got Quillen in there too, so um, if for some reason he put a monster on board that I couldn't kill, which I don't see happening, I could uh, just quail in it. I'm looking at his graveyard. Really, I want, what I wanted to know is how many uh, accelerators he had in there. You know, because I'm looking, I'm like, all right, how is he going to go into an XC play? Like, what what, what gear Gia do we even have left? I mean, I've, I've ran over or killed, like, everything in his fucking deck. So he uses Dark Hole, and I'm like, fuck, they one out. And then, um, obviously, that forces me to use my hair. And then he plays Macro, and then he summons fucking Mortal Kombat 2. And I'm like, fuck, my Veiler. <laughs> my Veiler's not doing shit, you know? He makes Acid Golem, and I'm like, all right, that that's good. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse, guys. That 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 play could have been that could have been a lot worse. So um, I end up taking 400, and um, actually, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I take 500. <clears throat> so I look at my extra deck, and I'm like, all right, I got to get rid of this fucking uh, Acid Golem. So I'm gonna Soul Charge for three. So I pay 3000 He asked me for my targets, and I'm like, you can't max-see me, so what the fuck do you care? <laughs> you know, you can't max-see me because you have macro on board. 
And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go Mika, um, Yamato, and uh, Crane because everything else I want in the graveyard. I think I'm thinking maybe I should have went Sasanoo. I, I don't know. I think I don't really think it matters. Now the thing is, I can kill that acid golem whenever I want because I can just use. Um, <clears throat> not only can I want to want it, but I can obviously just quill in it. So I'm trying to think about my options here. Again, I, I think that I've got game pretty much wrapped up because I can, I can. Um, if I go into Sasanoo, which actually Sasanoo probably wouldn't be the best card to go into. It, it doesn't really help me advance my my game state. Um, Kagasuchi would probably be better after after popping the um, the macro, of course, because I wouldn't want Kagasuchi milling all my shit to the graveyard. That's probably what I should have did, honestly, but that's not what I did. <laughs> I ended up doing something a lot more riskier and stupider. All right, so I summon my second crane, and what are we going to do here? Yeah, I go into Diamond Dire Wolf. So then I use Quaylen. Quaylen is going to, um, yeah, I use Quaylen to, to make sure that his Acid Golem gets banished and all its materials get banished. And then I'm going to pop his, um, his macro with uh what's it called i'm gonna pop it with um with diamond direwolf and the main reason that i did that is because I, the reason that that i didn't exceed is because i have valor vanity's emptiness and crane like i mean I'm, I'm sitting pretty right so he goes um he summons what do you call that guy uh arsenal and then he special summons accelerator i'm like all right that's cool well i'm gonna flip over vanity's emptiness to make sure you can't exceed that was probably a misplay. What I sh I should have just let him exceed. Like, what could he exceed into right now? Me having Baylor that could actually kill me. Like, really, what could he exceed into? If he goes Gear Giant X, okay, I crane it, and then then I flip over Vanity's Infinite. Well, I couldn't end the damage step, but you get my point. So, anyways, uh, he just sets one. Uh, obviously, he knows that he can't special summon, and he knows that I have Crane in my hand, so he obviously doesn't want to attack. Uh, I am just going to go into um, battle phase, and I'm just going to attack over. Uh, arsenal and then i'll probably attack over accelerator too so he says um like he's thinking and he looks at his extra deck and i'm like yo i got vanity's emptiness out like what are you why are you looking at your extra deck what are you gonna go in you're gonna you can't i'm like what are you gonna do <clears throat> so he says he's thinking and i'm like okay i have to respect that um and i'm thinking like all right well hopefully that's a call of the haunted or something bad a gear g a gear set and i can just clean up this duel and just you know easily win he flips over another needle ceiling and i'm like holy shit this guy's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at me and i'm like how many times have i used hair in this duel like six <laughs> you know what i mean usually this you can't beat bujins with pure destruction it doesn't work against this deck but i mean he t he came damn close <laughs> i'll tell you what he came damn close so obviously my yamato dies and my vanity's emptiness dies i attack for uh 1900 I'm going to set my Royal Decree because, I mean, there's no reason not to. And then he gets Mortal Kombat 2. So, uh, the second he summons Mortal Kombat 2, I'm going to bail the fuck out of that thing. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens, and then I end up winning. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that duel. I felt like I felt like we used every power card in the game. Like, Warning, Vanities, Emptiness, Needle Ceiling, Blackhorn, Soul Charge, everything there. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, as always.